Hello, Internet. It's Gabby Horner with Hornet Designs, and I am back with another video. Uh, definitely shorter this time, I promise. So today, I want to talk about something that nobody likes to talk about, including me, um, and that topic is failure. We all know it. Nobody likes it, and nobody likes to talk about it, and I understand because it's uncomfortable. I mean, I had a discussion with myself earlier about whether or not I was even going to do this as a topic because it's uncomfortable to talk about, so I tried to talk myself out of the topic that I talked myself into in the first place because it's my video and I can talk about anything I want. So, I get it. It's uncomfortable. And look at that. Look, first failure right now, I forgot my bow tie. Ridiculous. So, we're going to fix that with a little bit of movie magic. No, okay. Uh, I'm actually gonna talk to you about a real failure that I experienced in my business uh, a couple weeks ago in hopes that maybe you can relate or maybe you can learn something from it for yourself uh, or maybe just make you feel better to know you're not the only one who's uh, failed recently. So a few weeks ago, a client of mine asked me to create a logo for them and I was really excited about it. It was outside of an industry I usually work with. Uh, it promised to be a fun, creative project that I'd really get to work some different muscles that I don't usually get to use. So I was really excited about it. And I sat down to start working on the logo. Um, was having kind of a hard time. I rolled a bunch of ideas around in my head for a few days like I usually do. And um, I, I really just couldn't get any ideas to flow uh, from my head to the computer or to paper or to anything that I could get it on. And it was really struggling. I could not get my thoughts to come out. Uh, so of course the deadline came and I had no choice but to deliver a project. And um, I was really not happy with it. And that was really difficult for me. Uh, to me, that was a pretty big failure. Having to deliver a project that I was not 100% solid behind it being a really great design and something that I was really proud of. So uh, instead of continuing to beat myself up and getting absolutely nowhere, I decided instead that the best idea was to sit down and have an honest conversation with myself about why I wasn't able to provide um, a product that I was really proud of to my client. Why wasn't I able to do that? What was going on with me? So in that conversation with myself, I discovered two things. Thing one being that I was way too overwhelmed and overworked and over-involved in all of the non-creative aspects of my business. Um, they are the things that help the business run, but they are not uh, what I actually need to output. Administrative tasks, billing, um, client meetings, etc. I was over overwhelming myself and overworking myself with tasks um, and not spending time focusing on what, what I was putting out. Thing number two being that I realized I have not spent enough time working on creative projects that are not dictated by things like branding guidelines and color requirements and strict deadlines and um, various other things that we deal with in our industry, um, but that can prohibit creativity. So uh, what I realized I need to do is I need to spend some time with my own creativity, otherwise I'm not going to be able to bring anything new and innovative to the table when I go to make something. I've dedicated myself to spending at least five hours a week. One, two, three, four, five. That's a decision I made right now because I don't like the way four looks. I like the way five looks. So five hours a week I am going to spend creating um, content that has nothing to do with my business. Uh, and to do that, to uh, give myself a tool and some guidelines, I signed on to Skillshare, which is a great program. And uh, I'll put a link to it in the description or in the bio or wherever you end up finding this uh, video. Um, I love Skillshare. It's great because I get to learn from my peers and people who do what I do every day. Um, and I get to learn some of their tools and tricks. And it's open and it's creative and it's fun and it's way cheaper than going to school. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, so I signed up to Skillshare and I signed up immediately for a logo class because that's what I was struggling with. So I figured best to start where I'm actually struggling. So I hope that maybe me sharing my failure has helped you a little bit. Uh, if you want to share some failures you had with me, I'd love to hear what you uh, have or if this has helped you um, think of anything yourself. Um, and to tie this all together, I found a great quote from Ariana Huffington today, which is that failure is not the opposite of success, but it is part of success. So thank you so much for being here today and watching the video and sticking it out. And I will tag some bloopers onto the end. And I will see you next time. Thank you. Is that what I did? That's what I did last time. Good. So today, uh, my dog is barking. So that means I gotta close the door. So today, uh, I want to talk about uh, something that nobody likes to talk about. The dog barking. So instead of... Um,
saying the right words. Insert womp womp noise here. <laughs>